What's up, Cardinals fans? What's up, St. Louis? Here we are. Start of the Major League Baseball season. Starting tomorrow, there will be baseball all the way up until the end of October. I'm excited. Baseball is my love. And I cannot wait for tomorrow. i am got my eye on quite a few things, but I'm going to shrink it down to five for you. Number one, the rotation. Two, the outfield in general. Three, Jordan Walker. What are we going to see out of him? Four, four, the bullpen. What? Who knows what we're going to get out of that? There's some decent arms, but the bullpen really is a little bit of an unknown at this point. Um, we'll see what we get out of Jordan Hicks. We'll see what if Andre Palante can repeat what he did last year out of the bullpen. It's going to be interesting. And number five, can this offense truly be great? There are a lot of names. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of possibility. But is the offense going to perform the way that we think it is? So, number one, the starting rotation. It's not looking fantastic. It's not looking horrible, but it's not looking fantastic. Adam Wainwright goes down. He's going to be out for probably at least a month. It's looking like he's going to be missing at least a month. Groin injuries don't heal very fast. They're normally, from what I understand, like a four to six to eight week timetable. And Adam Wainwright's not a spring chicken. So it might be a while until we see Adam Wainwright pitch again, which is really disappointing given this is last season, you know, hate for the guy to be struggling like this. Um, but you've got some intrigue. You've got uh, a rotation that has a lot of, I guess you could say, ifs. Um, Jack Flaherty, what are we going to get out of him? It's going to be interesting. Are we going to get the ho-hum, go out there and just kind of be okay Jack Flaherty is he going to get rocked is he going to be average or are we going to get a repeat of the 2019 Jack Flaherty uh, it's not likely that we're going to get a repeat of 2019 but can he at least regain some of that form Miles Michaelis what are we going to get out of him is it going to be the the pitcher of last season the dominant number two starter going to be going out there every fifth day and shoving or are we going to get the Miles Michaelis that is leaving pitches in the middle of the plate and getting rocked and maybe lasting five innings and outing? It's going to be interesting. Jordan Montgomery, are we going to get the Jordan Montgomery that we had um, for most of the, this, the time that we had him last year? Or are we going to get the, the, the version of Jordan Montgomery that the Yankees had? You know, what is what role is Wilson Contreras going to play into the rotation? Is it going to play a similar role to... The way Yadier Molina commanded the, the rotation. Um, those are big shoes to fill. And nobody is expecting Wilson Contreras to, to have the effect on the rotation that Yadier Molina would have. But it's going to be interesting to see that dynamic play out. Uh, Woodford. Or what is Woodford going to bring? Now spring stats jump off the table at you. He really turned a corner over spring training. But... From all accounts and perspectives, he's always been kind of your fifth starter, you know, throw him out there, end of the rotation kind of guy. Not any, not a guy that you expect to carry a rotation by any means, and we're not going to expect that out of him. But the hope is that he's going to be a little bit better than, than that. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what he plays in, and I'm really... Interested to see how that comes out. Uh, and, and in terms of the outfield, we've got five studs. Well, it's studs, but could be studs. Uh, Tyler O'Neill. what are we going to get? Are we going to get the Tyler O'Neill who's just bashing home runs and doubles left and right? Or are we going to get the Tyler O'Neill who's bashing home runs for a month and then has an injury and is out for six weeks? Are we going to get Dylan Carlson to turn the corner eventually if he gets the opportunity in the outfield as he's not going to start. Um, Lars Newtbar, just 
all of a sudden overnight became a sensation. He went from 60,000 followers on Instagram to over a million. He's got the entire continent and country of Japan behind him. Can he bring some of that WBC magic in? It's going to be interesting. He had an incredible finish to the season last year, really high exit velocity numbers, probably the best performing outfielder towards the end of the season last year. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays um, in the moving in the moving forward because there are two guys right behind him, Dylan Carlson and Alec Burleson, that are going to be gunning for his spot if he slips up even a bit. So that will be intriguing. Tyler O'Neill is going to get a shot in center field. And so, you know, that'll be interesting as well. I've never really seen him play center field on a regular basis. He's filled in a time or two here or there. He's got the speed. He's got the athleticism. But is he going to be able to demand and command the outfield in center? Now, granted, he's going to have Jordan Walker and Lars Nupar, two very athletic men in their own right anchoring him in the corners so it's going to be interesting um cardinals again are going to have a really good defensive outfield again and that's going to be fun to see jordan walker now i don't want to set lofty expectations for the man but golly it's going to be fun to watch because he is everything that the cardinals fans have been dreaming of for some time athletic big that potential to be an incredible incredible baseball player and it's going to be fun to watch the bullpen what are we going to get out of the bullpen um who knows i mean jordan walker no jordan walker jordan hicks giovanni gallegos and ryan helsley Jordan, Jordan Hicks, Ryan Helsley, Giovanni Gallegos, not necessarily the order in which they'll be out there. And I kind of expect Marmol to kind of switch, switch that up at time. I don't expect Helsley to always be the closer. I expect Hicks and Gallegos to get some opportunities. You're going to have Andre Palante as your long man. You're going to have the opportunity for other people to come up. We've already got an injury that's affected the, the bullpen, so... Next man up mentality is already is already in play there. Who knows how the bullpen will be, but hopefully Helsley will anchor us at the closing position and Gallegos won't be affected too much by the pitch clock because we all know Gallegos does not necessarily work fast. Now the bench and the offense in total is going to probably be the thing to watch out for the most, I feel like. This team has so much potential offensively. They have the potential to be possibly the best offense in the league. And it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, another season with Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt right in the middle with Brendan Donovan, Jordan Walker, Tyler O'Neill, Lars Newbar. And then Nolan Gorman, who's had a fantastic spring training. Tommy Edmond at the top of the lineup. It's going to be really fun to watch. And I expect that they will be in most games because of the offense. So I'm really excited to watch that. There's just a lot of things to, to look forward to. Um... The offense is just one of those things that, that probably has me the most excited. I'm really looking forward to that. And I cannot wait. Cardinals fans, we're here. Opening day is here. Now, I might have said five things, and but you know what? These are This is what's on my mind right now. The offense, what, is, what are we going to see out of Jordan Walker? The rotation, the bullpen, the bullpen. 